Welcome to this technical overview of the newest version of Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF, version 6.5. Hi, I'm John Nate with EFI, and this update provides you with added functionality and improvements in the areas of color, productivity, usability, and integration. The highlights of this release are support for all Reggiani textile printers, improvements in color, updated standards, fluorescent ink support, enhancements in the step and repeat feature, a new dimensional correction feature for use in textile production, introduction of the new fiery sign flow option for the production printing market, as well as the addition of 40 new printer drivers and 20 updated drivers. We will go a bit deeper into details on the textile specification features later in this overview. But we'll begin by exploring the improvements in the color capabilities of Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF. Specifically, the enhanced color functionalities in the linearization process. You will find that we have enhanced the linearization results when using version 6.5. The new version will provide you with an improved harmonic shaped color gamut, enhanced shadows, and the elimination of reversals and umbrella artifacts. This new version supports multicolor devices, including all EFI ViewTech, EFI Matan, and EFI Reggiani printers. A new total ink limit step replaces the advanced ink limits interface found in earlier Fiery versions. This new ink limit step provides full multicolor ink support, including light ink support and gamut expanding inks and will support textile color modes using up to seven different normal inks by entering a single total ink limit value. You will be able to customize your total ink limit chart for use with specific media. Now this target is used to visually determine your total ink limit by examining where the hexagons in the individual patches are no longer visible or by examining bleeding marks for signs of over inking when printing on textile materials. For more information on this enhanced feature, please view the Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF Total Ink Limit for EFI ViewTech, EFI ViewTech FabReview, EFI Matan, and EFI Reggiani Printers video available from the link on the version 6.5 welcome screen. You will find a new enhanced summary report which will now display printer specific spot colors such as white, clear, and fluorescent graphs in 10% steps, as well as a display of the media white point. The EFI Color Profiler has also been enhanced in this new release. You will now find support for all color modes for EFI Reggiani Renoir printers, support for standard non-D50 illuminants, along with new advanced black controls and customizable black point definition. These new illuminants include D65, which is the standard in the textile industry. You can now select alternate illuminants when building your ICC media profiles in version 6.5. If you create a media profile with D65 illuminant, please ensure that you view the result under D65 viewing conditions. One of the new black generation features is the automatic black point finder. Now, in use, this feature will automatically select the darkest value from the target that you measured to use when defining the black point in your media profile. For more information on this and all of the black generation features when building ICC media profiles for these printers, view the Fiery XF version 6.5 Advanced Black Generation video available from the link on the version 6.5 welcome screen. New black controls will now be available in version 6.5 that will provide you with a greatly expanded group of tools to set the black generation options when building ICC media profiles for EFI ViewTech, EFI Matan, EFI Reggiani, and EFI wide format printers, a number of printers from Canon, as well as printers from Epson, Mamaki, and Roland. To help you in the entire linearization profiling process, we have created a new how-to guide. 
This guide contains all of the information needed to successfully complete the linearization and profiling process. You can find the updated Advanced Linearization and Profiling Guide in the Fiery Pro Server 6.5 section under the EFI ViewTech Documentation section in help.efi.com. In version 6.5, you will find additional enhancements in color functionality. This new version will include an enhanced black point compensation calculation, which will result in better contrast and image detail, especially in shadow areas, giving you a more Photoshop-like look. The Visual Correction module has also received an update. Output values will now be able to be defined to the first decimal point for improved precision. Also, spot colors will now be processed at a 12-bit level, which will result in smoother gradations. Recent updates to industry standards have also had an impact in version 6.5. FOGRA released a revision to the Process Standard Digital PSD specification in 2016. One of the changes which affects Fiery XF was the adjustment of the tolerances for the evaluation of color accuracy, side-by-side, -side, and media relative. You will now be able to do a side-by-side -side or media relative verification of your printouts according to the criteria and tolerances described in the FOGRA PSD Handbook 2016. We have added three new presets to version 6.5 to allow you to easily verify to the new specification. In this new version, you will find presets for the FOGRA PSD 2016 side-by-side, -side, media relative, and spot color tolerances. In version 6.5, you will be able to validate an ISO 12642-2 compliant chart using the correct ISO 12647-8 validation print chart criteria and tolerances to comply with the validation print standard. The previous tone value difference tolerance limits, which used a maximum CMYK patches value limit of 10, has been updated. The criteria now uses a maximum L-star calculation and defaults to a limit of 2. The default Delta E calculation used to verify the ISO 12647-8 compliant validation print media wedge has been updated in version 6.5. The previous defined Delta E CIE 76 has been updated to now use Delta E 2000 calculations. Support for fluorescent ink has also been added to version 6.5. The spot color editor in version 6.5 has been updated to provide support for all of the new EFI Reggiani color modes that use printer-dependent spot color definitions, along with support for fluorescent magenta and fluorescent yellow inks for EFI Reggiani and EFI ViewTech FabReview printers. The yellow and magenta fluorescent inks are supported using the printer spot color names fluorescent underscore yellow or magenta underscore ink by default, but can also be mapped to alternate spot color names of your choosing. In version 6.5, you will find multiple areas where you will be able to control the appearance of fluorescent ink. In color tools, you will be able to control the ink limits when creating linearization.epl files and in the Visual Correction module, in the Spot Color section, you will be able to modify the ink limits and apply a gradation curve. A gradation curve can also be built and applied using the Color Editor. Next, we will explore the productivity improvements provided in Fiery XF 6.5 update. We'll begin by exploring the enhancements added to the Step and Repeat feature. These enhancements are specifically designed for two major production markets. The first includes anyone printing multiple copies of a single job. A new rotate feature should help in the reduction of cutting issues, and a fill media feature will help better utilize your media. The second improvements to the step and repeat features are specifically designed for the seamless textile printing market. Let's explore these features first. The new pattern and offset drop areas in version 6.5 make it possible to create seamless repetition output from rapport files. A rapport file is a common textile industry file that is designed with a repetition pattern in order to take advantage of step and repeat printing capabilities.
Especially for operators of VFI Reggiani printers, your Fiery system can supply a file that covers the full width of the media, even when a partial file is needed to complete this task. Now let's turn our attention to the enhancements to the step and repeat feature for use when producing multiple copies of a single job. These enhancements include the ability to automatically fill the last row if it does not completely utilize all of the available media, as well as an indication of the number of copies that will be printed when the Fill Media option is selected. Also included is a feature designed to improve the accuracy and efficiency when using cutters. This new feature allows you to rotate columns or rows in your step and repeat files in order to eliminate problems caused by cutter registration errors. For additional information on all of the enhanced step and repeat features, please view the Fiery XF version 6.5 step and repeat video available from the 6.5 welcome screen. In version 6.5, you will find a new dimensional correction feature for use with all ViewTek FabriView and Reggiani printers. Post treatments such as steaming, washing, and drying can cause a change in the dimensions of the fabric. Typically, the fabric shrinks after post treatment, but in some cases, the fabric may also be a bit larger due to tensioning. Now, this problem requires the ability to modify the printed dimensions so that the final fabric achieves the original pattern size. The new media size correction feature found in Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF version 6.5 addresses this problem. We have started by renaming the previous media size correction pane media feed adjustment, and you would still use this feature to help address a problem with horizontal banding. This new name represents exactly what we are correcting, an error in the media feed and not an error in the media size. The new feature that has been added is the media size correction pane. Here's how it works. Now here we have a file that has been imported into the 6.5 interface. The file is 10 centimeters square. Here you can see the job on the media after post-treatment, where the media has shrunk. But we still want the job to measure 10 centimeters square. Well, what we need to do is scale up the image so that after post-treatment, where both the media and the job shrink, the final dimensions of the job will be our required 10 centimeters square. To accomplish this, all you need to do is enter the final dimensions that you measure from the test file into the media size correction pane. Your fiery system will take care of the rest. And a key feature is that the preview of your job in Job Explorer always displays the media and the job in the accurate post-processed side. To help you with your testing, we have included a new test file in version 6.5. The file is named ruler underscore one m dot pdf. Instructions on how to use the file is shown within the graphic itself. Print the file, post treat it, and enter the measured dimensions into the media correction pane. Your Fiery Pro server or Fiery XF system will take care of the rest. For additional information on the new media size correction feature, please watch the Fiery Pro server and Fiery XF media size correction video available from the 6.5 welcome screen. Another feature that has been added to version 6.5 is the sign flow option, specifically aimed at the production printing market. New in version 6.5, the sign flow option is available for specific EFI ViewTech printers. Sign flow significantly streamlines store rollouts in two key ways. First, it enables the most time efficient print production of all sign and panels required for an in-store campaign by only needing to rip files for completely new signs and panels, dramatically saving on-file processing times. SignFlow can then seamlessly combine the new and existing print jobs into one single print run to fulfill a campaign. Now, Second, it provides a workflow to print all of the required files for a campaign in a specific predefined sequence to support the most efficient installation for an individual store layout. No more pre-collating before a rollout can begin or inefficient mounting within a store. The SignFlow option is included with the Fiery Pro Server Premium that ships with the EFI ViewTek HS100 Pro and HS125 Pro inkjet presses. 
we have a number of resources that are available to you to help you take advantage of this valuable new option. You will find an introductory video, an option data sheet, and this technical video all available at fieryefi.com links shown here. Now let's explore the updated and new printer drivers that have been added to FireEXF 6.5. We are adding support for new EFI wide format and EFI Reggiani printers in version 6.5, as well as support for new printers from Canon, HP, Inca, OSE, Roland DG, and Sawgrass. You will also find that we have updated drivers for printers from EFI and Mamaki, as well as printers from Muto, Rico, and Roland DG. In version 6.5, you will find that all SII printer drivers have been renamed Oki drivers. Two new cutters available from DIS, the X5 and the X7, are supported in version 6.5. These cutters are driven with the K-Cut Vision System and the K-Cut Option and will be available on the cut panel. In order to support these cutters, you will need to add the cut marks option to your system if you do not already have it licensed. FireEXF 6.5 provides you with entry into the EFI digital textile ecosystem. The ecosystem extends the Fiery Textile bundle with a broad set of solutions from e-commerce, 3D sampling, and avatar draping to innovative print and ink technologies. Delivered as a single source solution, it will save you time and make day-to-day -day production easier. To provide integration into the EFI ecosystem, Matan printers will require communication via a SQL database server, while Reggiani printers will provide communication via the printer log file. There are a few changes to the system requirements for version 6.5. FireEXF 6.5 is supported under a number of Windows and Macintosh operating systems. The server is supported on 64-bit installations, while client is supported in either 32 or 64-bit installations. Now let's turn our attention to features specifically added for the industrial textile market. For Reggiani printers, we will now provide full color support for Reggiani printers in both the linearization, calibration, and ICC media profiling tasks. And when a media profile is created, version 6.5 will automatically create a virtual RGB profile for use in textile CAD and design applications. On the quality front, you will find that version 6.5 will provide you with saturated colors as well as deep rich blacks. Improvements in dithering will allow you to generate output with very smooth gradations as well as smooth highlights, deep rich blacks, clean pastels, vivid colors, smooth gradations, more printable colors, and fine details. The 6.5 color profiler will now automatically create a vRGB ICC profile readable by all ICC compliant applications and will be found in the same media profile folder where the EPL and output profiles are saved. Fiery detects these sets and the EFI CMM will switch automatically to the device link conversion if the vRGB profile is embedded in the image and if the output profile is found. This will avoid any losses due to the data conversion. Any image-based file format such as TIFF, JPEG, or PSD with a vRGB profile embedded will be processed using the embedded profile regardless of how the workflow settings are defined. Well, this completes this technical overview of the FireEXF 6.5 update. Upgrade your system to 6.5 and we are sure that you will be pleased with all of the new features. Thank you very much for your time.